Lately, have you found yourself in an endless loop of scrolling with your head buried in your phone? In this episode, we'll take a look at ways we are affected by social media apps and constant scrolling. Here's a question for you to think about. How can we find balance in a hyper-connected world? We'll also take a look at how we can help ourselves with some useful tips. Since its conception, social media apps have consistently promoted the ideal of connectedness. It has translated into the realities of the delicate phrase, keeping up with the Joneses, a place characterized by both inspiration and desperation, displaying different players such as the haves, the have-nots, and the wannabes. However, within the last three to five years, there has been a shift in the perspectives concerning the heavy usage of social media. Most notably, many celebrities, influencers, and regular Joes have found solace in detaching from social media apps by taking frequent breaks, setting time limits, and ultimately quitting social media altogether. So what does this mean for us? Let's dive into some quick definitions and interesting articles on the topic. So what is social media detoxing or digital detoxing? Digital detoxing is perceived as a method of fasting or abstaining from the digital world, which includes phones and other electronic devices. A social media detox is just that, fasting or removing specific apps from your phone. Now we're going to give some tips and simple ways to scroll less and put your phone down more often. Tip number one, find a hobby. As easy as it sounds, sometimes it's very hard to pick up a new hobby or new skill. But a new hobby could just be going outside and taking a stroll, taking a walk in the park, taking a walk in your neighborhood, maybe even reading a book. It can also include meeting some friends at a coffee shop or at a park, or having fun making some crafts. Whatever you do and set your mind on doing, be mindful of your well-being. That hobby that you find should allow you to be whole in every aspect of your life. Tip number two, set screen time limits. Smartphones are equipped with settings to help manage screen time and app limits. Both Apple and Android devices have these added features. However, there are other apps that monitor screen time and app usage. To explore setting screen time limits per your specific device, please click the link below in the description box. Finally, tip number three, the last and least preferred option is just ripping the band-aid off and deleting your apps. It seems rather extreme, but it is very effective. However, recent research also identified that social media detoxing or digital detoxing should be done in moderation. Let's have a quick review. Number one, find a hobby. Number two, set screen time limits. Number three, and if you're feeling a little courageous, just delete your apps, which leads us to believe instead of deleting all of your social media apps, you should take a social media vacation. And here's why. The benefits of disconnecting are immense, improved focus, better sleep, and enhanced mental health. There you have it a few ways to take a break from social media and enjoy life offline. So what's your perspective on all of this? Do you need to take a social media vacay? So let us know in the comments below. Remember, it's all about finding balance and making time for the things that truly matter. For more tips and insights, be sure to check out the four articles linked below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.